Greetings, fellow Gorehounds, and welcome back to a Blood Splattered vlog. I'm the Horror Guru. And I'm Count Jacula. And today we're going to talk about Incantation, which is a Taiwanese found footage film currently available on Netflix exclusively, at least here in North America. I don't know about other places. Yeah, I think it's a Netflix original. Yeah. Oh, okay, well, there we yeah. go. It is a Taiwanese film about a, a woman who committed a great taboo in the past and has spent many years under psychiatric care, recovering from the belief that she was cursed, basically has decided that she is no longer cursed and has now acquired back the um, care of her child from foster care. Yeah. But now that she got the, the child back, it appears her child is cursed and the movie goes on from there. Yeah. That's, that's kind of what's going on with yeah, this. Yeah, the major theme of this movie is mental illness. Yes, there's a lot of mental mental illness stuff as well as spooky religious shit. Um, yeah, yeah. This is a. By the way, I I said it was about mental health. But bear in mind, this is an Asian horror movie. Oh so, yeah, yeah. There's there's ghosts. Yeah, there's ghosts and there's monsters and things shit. like that. You know, this movie is really good. Like, it's really oh, yeah. creepy. Oh yeah, it's really well put together. But one thing I will say about the movie is the overall logic of it being found footage doesn't make any sense, and that's even with the explanation as to why it's as to why it's being yeah. made. When we get to the spoiler section, we'll talk about the reason why the movie's being made because that's part of the spoiler talk of this movie. Yeah, but even with that. There's things that we see in this movie that it makes no sense to be there given that motivation. Yeah, yeah, but it does, but you can tell that what they wanted, what they wanted to do, yeah. and the movie does do, uh, is they wanted to involve the audience. Yes, and they do a good they job They do of a that. very good job of that. Like, yeah. like, for most of this movie, you're gonna be so involved in this that you're not gonna be really thinking about the logic of the found footage-ness of it. Yeah. Um, it's mainly something I, it was like a fridge th logic. Yeah, I yeah, yeah, there's think, some fridge logic moments. I started like, wait a minute. Yeah, after you know? seeing the movie and going to the fridge, going to my fridge, I start thinking about the movie and I'm like, wait, does that make sense? I don't know. The movie logically comes together. It's mainly the meta of it being found footage that doesn't, that's, that's all. Yes. Yeah, um, because like there's this kind of hurdle with the logic that they don't really address. Yeah. Well, it, it's found footage done as a stylistic choice as opposed to a logical choice. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah. Like, well, we also know that it, it didn't necessarily need to be a. It didn't necessarily need to be a found footage movie because we've seen a movie with a similar twist at the end of its story yeah. that that didn't do this. That's true too. Um, that but, being said, a movie it really reminded me of and is just as effective as was Norai, Norai. The, yeah. the Curse, which justifies yeah. its found footageness a little better because we're, we're literally following documentarians. Yeah. In this movie, like the main character used to be a ghost hunter and she used to like document her hunting of the ghost with her friends. Like, I'm assuming in like a YouTube context because it didn't seem like they had a big budget. Yeah, yeah, it's, it was, yeah, it was, well, they're telling people to get comment yeah. and subscribe, so I'm like, pretty sure. Like, they weren't like one of those ghost hunter shows. Like, they, No, they no, they had like a YouTube channel, <laughs> yeah. you know? <laughs> um, So back in the day, so that's why we have like footage of her past that we end up seeing later. But some of the stuff we see like in the future there's no reason for her to have been recording that. It just was being recorded. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Especially, oh God, yeah. Especially the scene where she's like escaping the hospital. Yeah. You're like, wait a minute. Why are we? Why? How did you get security cameras from the fucking hospital? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. But anyway, that is like me being super nitpicky. And it's my only nitpick with the movie because other than that, this movie is great. This movie is creepy as all shit. Every time that child was doing something spooky, I was like, oh, oh no. no, oh Jesus. <laughs> um, and every time it would cut to the footage of her past and the taboo she committed, that shit was creepy as hell too. Yeah. You know, like it, it, it was a very effective, creepy movie in the way only Asian cinema is capable yeah, of. Yeah, because it's um, because like a lot of good Asian cinema, it all has to do with ancient, you know, ancient magical rituals. Yes. You know, the ancient ritual that the locals do. Yes. <laughs> you know, that's 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 usually that's what it always is in Japan. It's like, oh, oh yeah. there was an old the, old Shinto ritual. Would you, you say know? the um, incantation they do? <laughs> they do. Yeah. And the actual incantation is actually part of the movie. 
Yeah, yeah. We'll talk more about that in the spoiler section because the movie does right off the bat start telling us about incantations, like in the opening shot. Yeah. Um, so that's not a spoiler, but like there's some spoiler elements to that that we'll talk about later. Something that's not really a spoiler, though, is this movie largely centers around a deity known as the Mother Buddha. Yeah. Um, this is the, the entity that she's convinced is is haunting her, that she's cursed by. Um, and I have no idea if that's a real thing or if it was made up for the movie. Um, there, I don't know if it's an, the Mother Buddha is an actual one, but there are a lot of things like that. A lot yeah. of people assume, because they're so used to uh, uh, Americanized Buddhism, yeah. they don't realize that, oh wait, this has actually been going on for like a thousand plus yeah. years continuously. And so it has accumulated a lot of folk magic. Yeah. Just like any other place would. You've got these like kind of beautiful idyllic little yeah. like wilderness areas surrounded that that are like kind of tucked away. Yeah. Um and families that have lived there for like generations. Mm -hmm. And they do and sometimes there's just weird shit because so much of uh Central Asian and even Southeast Asian mm -hmm. like spirituality is local is so localized yeah that makes sense yeah you know we're used to kind of like the american like kind of <laughs> or the western kind of uniformity of religion yeah. christianity is like this catholics are like that it's not the way it works not oh, yeah. the way it, it works it, in it's Indonesia. like there's like little tribes of the religions like fractioned off <laughs> exactly yeah. and they all kind of acknowledge the uh efficacy of their of those practices kind mm -hmm. of at face value that makes sense. You know, like it's you know, it really is like that line in fucking Big Trouble in Little China. Yeah, of course, Chinese religion is confusing. Look what we have to work with. There's Taoism, uh, Buddhism, Confucianism, alchemy and sorcery. You take what you want. Leave the rest. <laughs> Just like a salad bar. You know, I was like, no, no, that's probably the most accurate statement fair, on, fair. <laughs> on fucking Asian spirituality. Um, I will say that despite like, like the logic not necessarily making sense as to why it's a found footage movie or like how it functions as a found, found footage movie, I do not think most of the creepy moments would have worked not being found footage. Like, yeah, I think a lot of them work really well because of the way it's shot, you know, like yeah, with if the grainy, we... janky ass cameras, like it just sells it, right? Yeah, like, yeah. It's weird because it's like, it's it's a necessary, it's a stylistic choice that tells the movie in a way that the movie needs to be told. Yeah. However, it requires some leaps of logic yeah, yeah. occasionally that you're like, in Where a way, did they get this footage? In, in a way that I'm not used to thinking about with a lot of these types of movies, because usually there's some sort of logic to it. Like we're filming a doc, like even that one we were talking about earlier, they were literally filming a documentary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Time. Or or it's one camera. Or it's one camera, yeah, absolutely. You know, this is like multiple cameras. This is like someone- Multiple different like perspectives in multiple different situations. This is like someone took a collage of different footage involving the same woman that she happened to take and they slapped it together in a, in a weird order. Yeah. Like, 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 but why they did that? I don't know. Like, I know why she's recording shit, but I don't know yeah. why, why they, 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 yeah, yeah. It's, it's one of those, <laughs> like, why, if, if, if the premise is, is that this woman assembled this movie yeah. Why did she do this in this order, even given what the twist is at the end? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I, like it. <laughs> like, why did she make it like a what? movie? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You know, like, okay. <laughs> like, shouldn't this be more like one of those like YouTube videos where it, <laughs> just telling you shit? You know, like the shit like we we, we used to do. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I know why she recorded all the footage because even before we get to the twist at the end, it's very obvious that. No one believes her about the curse shit. Yeah. So documenting all the shit that's happening around her makes sense. Yeah, it does. You know, it makes sense. Like, you don't believe me. Well, here, here's her being like to walked up a wall. Like, you know. Yeah. Like <laughs> oh, and, and the taboo. And the thing about the taboo. Hey, buddy. Hey. Is it's not like. It's not like, like if we were talking about like a taboo in like America, that immediately goes to like deviant sexuality. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know? But this is like 
folk magic. So or, the taboo or, is simply don't look at the thing. <laughs> yeah, or or you like you go and burnt down a church or something. Like yeah, yeah like you committed some sort of folk. Pop, yeah, yeah, right? yeah, something big. This is literally <laughs> no, don't do that. The reason that's a taboo is because if you do that, then the monster kills you. Yeah, yeah. You know, like and the monster don't give a fuck because this is Asian horror, baby. Oh yeah, like, yeah, no, 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 no. It's like a it's like a fucking <laughs> tidal wave or a typhoon coming through. It don't give a fuck. It also don't care you if know? you're a kid or not. It'll come for oh, everybody. Oh no. No, but fucking fucking Chinese ghost stories are very, 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 very clear on this fact. Innocence does not save you. Nope. You know, it's like you did the bad thing and now the ghosts are fucking yep. now the ghosts are fucking you up. And that's it. Can you survive? Look, there's always a possibility that she will live in the happy frog forever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's always a possibility, and that all oh, that often happens. Yeah, yeah. You know, that often does happen, but don't count on it. You know, <laughs> you can't count on it. All right. Obviously, like we're trying our best to talk about it non-spoilery because it's hard not to talk about the spoiler parts. So we're going to move on to spoilers soon. It's currently available on Netflix. So if you want to watch it, Netflix original, go watch it on Netflix. If you like Asian horror movies, if you like any of the movies we've mentioned so far, Nor Why the Curse or the one on Shudder that I'm the name escapes me. If you like either of those movies, I'll put the name right here. If you like either of those movies, you're going to dig this movie. It's very much in the vein of those two, but Taiwanese. God, this is a second movie from Taiwan in the same year that like is in the top 10. No, it's great. You know, it's fucking great. I love this movie, um, despite my my complaints. <laughs> um, and with that said, my fellow Gorehounds, let us move on to the spoilers. Yeah, so I think the, the the major spoiler is the nature of the curse. Yes. Yeah, the 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 nature of the curse is that once once the taboo has been broken, mm -hmm. the curse like Asian curses, they just happen. Yeah. You know, a lot of you you can't do you can't do anything about it. Yeah. You can't make a curse not happen. Yeah, you know, uh, you are truly cursed. Yeah, you are truly cursed. Like this is just gonna this is gonna keep happening. And if you're lucky, it ain't gonna affect your ancestors. But you're fucked. Yeah, absolutely fucked. Except in this one, there's a caveat, which is the more people who are cursed, the less powerful the curse is on any one person. Yeah, yeah. It's spread. Yeah. So the main character is trying to, because her kid is cursed and she is cursed, she is trying to make the curse as small, as little as possible. But you can't coerce people into accepting the curse. They have to actually do it. Yeah, yeah. You know, you could, you could possibly trick them but you can't force them. Here's the thing, and this is the major spoiler that was hard for us not to talk about. The big reveal at the end of this movie is that the entire movie, from start to finish, has been her doing an incantation so that you, the audience member, are now yeah. part of the curse. Yeah. You are now cursed. Yeah. And uh, they do some really cool things with this because they like they do some like like cool little mind fuckery moments. Yeah, because they all they talk about optical uh, yeah. illusion, optical illusions a lot. Yeah. Um, there's one that I really love where they show us this thing on screen and then it cuts to a white screen and it creates this optical effect where you still see it there like the way you do like when you stare at a light. Yeah. Um, and you still see like like the 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 shape of the light in your vision for a while until yeah. it goes away. It did the same thing. Yeah, stare at a high contrast thing. Yeah, and then look at a blank wall and yeah. you still see the yeah. Yeah, so it goes image. to the white screen and you could still see the image even though it's not actually on the screen. It's just your vision. So it's like they cursed you. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, that's a yeah. really cool trick. I like that. I like that they worked that into a movie and made it work. Um, but yeah, the whole movie turns out that she is uh, cursing you, uh, performing this incantation. Now, the thing is, is that the actual incantation she does at the end of the movie. Yeah. So I'm not sure why we needed the rest of the movie's context before she did it. She literally could just be like, 
hey, uh, let me tell you about things and then trick us into listening to her do the incantation and then show us the Buddha's face. Yeah. <laughs> and that would have been it. <laughs> yeah. But instead she goes through this whole, like telling us her life story. <laughs> well, she's giving the audience the choice. Yeah, yeah. You know, giving you the choice. Like, do you, will you, will you take on? That's part? true. Cause you do get to the end and it's like, are you going to watch when it finally shows us her going? Cause the taboo that she broke is that her and her friends were doing their ghost hunter thing. They went to one of her, her boyfriend's family's um, house where they have, they, they turns out they're part of this weird cult. Yeah, <laughs> um, that has been cursed by this thing. Yep. And uh, so they're performing all these rituals to try to minimize that and shit. And they've basically contained the mother Buddha inside this fucking tunnel with all these fucking like rituals that they've done and incantations they've done and these fucking like, uh, what do you call them? Um, altars they've yeah. created. And they break one of the altars that that's at the entrance of the cave. Yeah. Go into the cave. Oh my God. Wreck shit and basically release the mother Buddha. Yeah. They release the demon. And this is where shit gets like truly supernatural because you got like hands coming out of the walls and it's creepy as fucking shit. And like, of course, the crying baby noise. Japanese and yeah. Asian movies in general. This is a chi Taiwanese movie. Yeah. But Asian movies in general love the crying baby noise. Yeah. And and because it's because it's a uh, it's 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 Chinese. There are like a lot of mirrors. There's mirrors. Yeah. Yeah. Lots yeah. And, of mirrors. It's obvious that like they have like like a way they were trapping the mother Buddha using mirrors. Like, yeah. Yeah. And then they that's move a, the head so it's no longer. Trapped. Yeah. That's a that's um that's a that's a Chinese thing. Yeah. With with about spirits and mirrors. Um, and then at the very end, the Mother Buddha's face is covered because there's like a statue of the Mother Buddha. Yeah. Um, and they remove the face and you get to actually see the face and it's all fucked up at the very end. Um, and, but there's true that you are given the choice to continue watching so you can yeah, see the face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At every point she's giving you the choice to stop. Yeah. It's a, it's like some part of her is, is 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 not quite willing to commit until the very end when she's got to. And but that's the that's the major spoiler, really. Like that's it. Like the curse is real, and uh, she is cursing you now. That's, yeah, that's the twist. It's everything it's, else is a haunted house ride. Yeah, yeah. Oh God, the minute that kid fucking kicked down that altar door, I mm. fucking dude. Like I, uh, God, that was. This is just a personal thing with me. Yeah. But that's pissing in the holy water. <laughs> you know, you're just like, why? What are you? D d yeah, yeah. No, yeah. no. Evil ghost is, ba is supposed to be back there. Don't just kick the door down. Yeah. Now, now it's definitely going to be pissed yeah. off. Yeah. Because you just fucking broke the door. It's like, uh, I'm sorry. Did, did, it's like there's a there's a coffin, and and you were told Dracula's in the coffin, and, and you broke the lock. <laughs> yeah. It's like, wh why did you do that? You know. I was like, well, I don't believe in any of this stuff. Well, I'm, dude. They do, and clearly you're the one who broke it. I will say this: the the most wildest, creepiest shit all happens in the past footage. Oh, the yeah. footage of them going into that tunnel. The fucking chaos haunted house ride that happens inside that tunnel. Yeah. And then all hell breaking loose when they leave the tunnel. Yes. And there's that one guy constantly running everywhere with his teeth falling out and he keeps teleporting places. Yes. <laughs> oh my God. It, it takes you a while to realize that the re reason that, that that's happening is he's already dead. Yeah, oh yeah. He is a ghost. Yeah, he, he, was all, he, he never actually made it out of that tunnel. He was, yeah, he was he dead. Done. You know? <laughs> Part of the thing is that once the mother Buddha knows your name. They own your soul. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. you, you tell her your name and then. And that's part of the rituals that, that they all do as the family is they, when they reach a certain age, they give their name to the mother Buddha. And, yep. They just, they and, just and offer. They up. have reached some sort of harmony in their little mother Buddha cult. Yes. And these kids come and disrupt that harmony. Yeah. Yeah, and then but, and then the one that survives lives the rest of her life cursed. <laughs> yeah, and and you you re you realize that like the reason they don't want outsiders around is to prevent this exact situation. Oh yeah. Also, the mother Buddha li likes children, so the yeah. fact that she has a kid, it's like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, nope. Black magic. Black magic. Just black magic. Oh, I love that scene. Um, oh, now we're just talking about scenes we really like, but I love that scene where they go to the shaman. Yeah. And the shaman tells him, don't feed the kid. Oh yeah. 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 Like, like, like we perform this ritual. It'll be fine. It'll last seven days. Don't feed the kid. She feeds the kid on day three. Yeah. They come back. 
shamans are shamans dead and the shaman's assistant is possessed and yeah <laughs> and yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> You know, that's one of those. Well, that's why I like, that's why a lot of like fucking shamans are, are very much the like, you got the bread? No. Yeah. Then you a hopeless case. <laughs> very much remind me of the movie we saw last year where the shaman lady was found dead in her house. Like, yes. right before they were supposed to perform the big ritual. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> gods mean business. Yeah. yeah. These dark gods and demons, they mean business. <laughs> Don't fuck around. You know, like fucking Western demons and demigods fuck around. Yeah. Asian ones, not, not, not. So, oh, no, 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 no. I, no, no. It says right here, you do that. I cut your head off. That's it. You know, <laughs> like, you know, and that's the, and, and you know, they mean business because they always cut, they're cutting each other's heads off all the time. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's absolutely. like there's actually a, a um one that's really, really popular in, in Taiwan about these two, two guardians who, You'll sometimes you'll see uh, during a certain time of year on either side of the door, there will be these two scrolls and there'll be these two warriors. And you're like, what the fuck is that about? Mm -hmm. And the answer is because thousands of years ago, a man made a deal with a dragon and the dragon's like, hey, I like you. You're a good guy. Mm -hmm. Your people are good people. I'm supposed to cause a drought because the king of heaven told me to, mm -hmm. but I like you so much. I'm gonna I'm gonna give you rain, but you gotta keep it on the down low. Makes sense, you know. And so everything's fine. And then it comes time to do like the big harvest festival, and the dragon's like, "All right, can't have the festival. You have the festival." And you start sacrificing shit to the gods. They're gonna mm -hmm. know you have shit. Makes sense. You know, so you can't do that. The guy tries to get the town to like, no, 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 we can't have a festival this year. But they, the town does it anyway. Mm. So the dragon gets its head cut off in heaven. <laughs> and now the dragon's mad. Understandably, he lost he, its head. Yeah, he lost its head. He's like, you fucker. Like, I lost my fucking head. <laughs> I'd like, right, you know what? I'm just going to fucking, yeah, I'm going to haunt you every fucking night. And you're not going to get a wink of fucking sleep. Nice. So he hires these two guards to just stand in front of his uh, door. And the whole idea is the first night they're there, they're like, what are we doing here? Uh, we're supposed to fight a headless dragon if it comes in. They're like, huh, well, the old Lord is crazy. All right, we'll just stand here then. But then the headless dragon shows up. They're like, oh my God, the headless <laughs> dragon. Well, our duty is clear. And they fight off the headless dragon, <laughs> but they have to do it every fucking night. Nice. And then eventually, like, somebody comes up with the idea of like, look, you guys haven't gotten a night's sleep in like, what, 10 years? And they're like, yeah, but it's our duty. Yeah, you're also getting old. <laughs> All right, so this is what we're gonna do. We're just gonna put pictures of you <laughs> by this thing. So when the dragon comes by, because you've been kicked his ass consistently for 10 years, he'll just go look and it'll be like, still around. <laughs> so I'll just, I'll just, I'll just fuck off. Fair. You know, and they're like, how will you like, how will he not tell the difference? Well, he's got no head. Oh, <laughs> all right. Never mind that he shouldn't be able to see them in the yeah, first yeah, place. At all. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like, that's like, that's where it gets into like little kid logic. Yeah, yeah. How can he not tell the difference? Well, he doesn't have his head. <laughs> oh, and as a kid, you just gotta buy that. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know? <laughs> With that said, where can they find you, Count Jackula? Oh, you can find me on Twitter, at Counting Jack. You can find me on Instagram, at Satanic Jackula. And you can find me on Twitch, at Count underscore Jackula, on Twitch, where I uh, stream games. And right now I am streaming the game Stray, which uh, which is the cat game. Yep. Yep. It is meow, the, uh, meow, yeah, meow. yeah, Asian cat game where you walk around in Asian robot city and uh, meow at things. And like them, Gomez. Like Gomez. Like when he came yeah. through here and meowed at us. Meow, meow, meow. <laughs> yeah. It all comes yep. together. <laughs> mm-hmm. Cats. Cats, very lucky.
You all know me. I'm the Horror Guru. You can find me at the Horror Guru on Twitter, on Twitch, on Instagram, and Facebook. Just look up the Horror Guru or Blood Splattered Cinema, and I'll be there. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget to ring that notification bell so you're notified of our videos immediately upon their upload. And if you'd like to help out either of us more directly, be sure to check out our Patreon pages. And remember, if you decide to go the Patreon route, even a dollar a month can go a long way. If you've made it this far into the vlog, then I want you to comment below, and be sure to comment below with hashtag don't kick the altar. <laughs> hashtag don't kick don't the kick altar. The altar. <laughs> Work it into your comment below. That way I know, that way Jack knows, that way the whole world knows you watch this vlog all the way through. And hopefully if you live by that hashtag, you will never be cursed. You will not be cursed by Mother Buddha. <laughs> Dude, that was the one time in the movie I screamed. <laughs> yeah, I remember because that. Because it wasn't, yeah. And it wasn't it was like fear. It was like, ah, what the fuck have you done? <laughs> it was a real visceral reaction. It's true. He jumped out of his seat. <laughs> I was so angry. <laughs> yeah, the movie got me on that level. It got me. I totally bought into everything that was happening. Thumbs up. Anyway, my fellow gorehounds, peace out. And I'll catch y'all later.